Hello, my name is R.G. Manuel Pillay uh, and I'm reading today from this book Too Young, Too Loud, Too Different an anthology of Malaika's poetry kitchen I'm reading a poem called Tulips I can hear her in the kitchen talking on the phone the way a daughter only talks to her father a voice soft at the seams Familiar, woven with history like fossils uncovered along the Northumberland coast. They discuss important things like vinyl flooring or shelves or how they will plant tulips this winter though he knows he'll probably never see them bloom. That night, in bed, she cannot stop crying. In knee pads and old car keys, weeks later, soil-soaked hands clamber in bushes, bury green-fingered secrets at the base of a great oak, planting tulips as he teaches, and I catch her behind his watering can for a second, staring as a daughter only stares at her father, like he is the sky and she is a boat below it. That night she asked me, who's going to tell me it'll be all right? It's Saturday, strictly night, and he is stretched out, sipping chocolate, moose batting tales of Nigeria to his daughter who reaches for his stories like feathers from a falling bird. He laughs and she wipes moose from his shirt, exchanging a glance from when she was nine with a grazed knee, hobbling to a man who could make the ground say it was sorry. I hope so, he says as the credits roll. I would love to see them grow. It's a year since he passed. Spring in our tiny flat. She is consoling our heartbroken neighbour. The neighbour sobs into her shoulder. She listens, her forehead a crinkled crash mat. Nodding, speaking with tender voice. Each word a bird nursed and released from her mouth. The rain outside is falling. Our neighbour shakes her head like I am shaking mine, wondering where all that kindness comes from. And there, on the balcony, tulips, tall as I have ever seen. <laughs>